Hi, I'm Rie. I'm a tasty producer. Today, I'll be showing you how to make my favorite recipes I've learned since coming to America. Some of the best fried chicken I've ever had in the U.S. was from Howling Raids in downtown L.A. and Prince's Hot Chicken in Nashville, Tennessee. I wanted to recreate it so I don't need to wait in line for two hours. I've also worked for a restaurant where they make really good fried chicken, so I combined those techniques. I recommend using chicken thigh with the skin on for this recipe. Personally, I like chicken thighs more than the chicken breast because it has more flavor and it's more tender. Another important component is marinating the chicken in buttermilk. This technique is definitely something I learned after moving to the U.S. because buttermilk is not available in Japan. If buttermilk is not available in your country, you can substitute it with milk and lemon juice. Nashville fried chicken is spicier than the one I made before and also uses flour instead of potato starch, which gives more tender and crunchy exterior. The secret of this recipe is after you have fried it, coat it with oil-based seasoning sauce so the fried chicken stays crispy. This is a recipe I've never heard of before coming to the US because we don't have anything with a similar flavor palette in Japan. I've come to enjoy this dish as much as my chicken wing recipe, but in a different way. There is a popular Japanese dish called cream korokke. It is a korokke with a creamy filling, just like chicken pot pie filling. So I mashed up those two dishes and made this video. There is a type of cuisine called yoshoku, which is a cuisine influenced by Western style cooking, but adapted and evolved in Japan. Rice, hamburg, which is Salisbury steak, and croquettes are considered yoshoku. Yoshoku is my childhood favorite, and I'm really happy to see yoshoku is getting more attention recently. It's actually quite difficult to shape the cream filling, but if you divide the filling and freeze it, it's easier to shape. One thing I've tried to do with my cooking is not only make traditional Japanese dishes, but try and combine them with elements of other cultures from around the world. The first time I had a chicken pot pie was a Kentucky Fried Chicken in Japan, and I really enjoyed it. Oftentimes, family will eat there for Christmas. It's an American comfort food I've really come to enjoy, and I thought this would be an interesting way to combine the flavors with something I was familiar with already to give my own unique take on it. Pie is one of my favorite American desserts to eat and to make. Arranging apple slice as rod shape needs some patience, but it's totally worth the effort. This pie will impress whoever you are eating with. I combined sugar and apple, so apples become more pliable. When you combine sliced apples and sugar, sugar draws moisture out of the apples and creates syrup. Don't discard it, because we are going to make caramel sauce with this syrup. So I use pre-made pie sheet for the pie base. Make sure to pre-cold so pie won't puff up. I've seen this rose-shaped apple tart, but wanted to make it more approachable. I also made this pie from scratch for I tried to make a pie with zero waste video. For the video, I try not to make any waste, so I didn't peel the apple. It tastes good either way. It's totally up to your preference. Apple pie is an essential American dessert and something I didn't often eat in Japan. I like making pies and eating them because of the seasonality, since you can make pie with any seasonal ingredients. That's something that Japanese people are obsessed with, making seasonal dishes. This is a super easy apple pie recipe that I made into a different style so that it would be visually pleasing. It just takes a little time. You might notice these are not my hands making this recipe. As a tasty producer, sometimes we bring in different people to make tasty videos with them. I made this video with my coworker Nick, who is from Louisiana. I always wanted to learn how to make good Cajun food, and the best way to do it is learning from people from there. Louisiana andouille is spicy and it gives a nice smoky flavor to the dish. He told me the secret is using andouille sausage links. It's such a simple one-pot recipe, but you will taste layer of flavors from spice, the sausage, shrimp, and vegetables. He's no longer working at BuzzFeed, but whenever I think of him, it reminds of us cooking together at the studio. I love how cooking bonds us together. 
So I've been to New Orleans before. I remember how different the flavor combination was than anything I'd ever had before. So I'm glad I had Nick there as someone who was from that area to teach me more about it. This is another video where it's not my hands making the food. My coworker Angie makes the best biscuits, so I asked her to make a video with me so I can share the recipe with tasty audience. Angie is our food expert, who is from North Carolina. Her biscuit is tender and flaky. I can't stop eating it whenever she makes them. There are some discussion in the comment section that those are not biscuits because in UK they call cookie a biscuit. American biscuits look similar to scones, but biscuits are more moist. You can eat them with butter and jelly or make a fried chicken sandwich. So Kentucky Fried Chicken in Japan, they serve biscuits and I used to eat them a lot. The difference between American KFC's biscuits and Japanese KFC's biscuit is that the Japanese biscuits has a hole in the middle of them, like a donut. I assume this is because they can shorten the cooking time. Also, just to be clear, this video is not sponsored by KFC. I just didn't have any other biscuit or American fried chicken in Japan to compare them to. I've never eaten American KFC, but I know this biscuit recipe is the best. When I was living in New York, my husband and I used to go to Key Lime Pop Shop in Brooklyn. They sell Key Lime pie on a stick covered with chocolate. It's perfect dessert for summer. Now I moved to LA and wanted to recreate so I can eat it all the time. Key Lime is much smaller than regular lime and contains less juice and it's not accessible to all over the world. So when you squeeze lime, I always use this technique. So you cut in half and use tongs to squeeze the juice out. I learned this when I was working in a restaurant. My pastry chef Jun showed me. I should have named it as lime pie since I didn't use key lime, but it doesn't sound as good. So I used regular lime. I was actually trained in French culinary at the International Culinary Center in New York. Most people probably think of me as a Japanese chef, but Japanese cooking is just what I learned from my mom. But I don't want to be limited to just one style of cooking. My goal is not to just cook Japanese food or cook French food. I've been living in the States almost 10 years now. It's starting to feel like here is my home. I'm fortunate to have two places I can call home. I know I can learn so much about other cultures' cuisine through exploring all different types of food. And Tasty has such a diverse audience. And I'd love to hear your backgrounds. What food do you think I should try making next? Oh, yes! Okay. okay. <laughs> do you want one more? Okay. Okay, cool.